I know a lot of YouTubers come on here, they tell you, preach all this good shit. Oh, bro, just stay motivated. and Man, shut your stupid ass up. Man, shut your goddamn David Goggins wannabe nose ass up. They be over here, bro, trying to act like they the famous, you know what I'm saying? Motivators, speakers, uh, speakers and shit like that all the time. But we all know they be goofing off in their real life as well. You feel me? Dang shit, bro. Just because you got a Lamborghini don't mean shit. Hey, man, you know who it is, man. I'll be like that. Look, man, free back. You know, video for me, new Scott Bob. Footy for me, old Scott Bob. Footy for me, like this. Video for me, watch all the way through. You gone like since a fat cold time. But look, man, today we're going to talk about what I'm saying. I've been struggling, gang, with my mother the whole time. I got my 1% on this camera. God damn. But look, bro, I've been struggling in my life and shit like that. But I'm going to break it down to y'all last time. I'm going to get a little vulnerable in this video. You feel me? With my mother the whole time. But look, before I get into the video, you already know what I say, right? Like the video, like this a fan. I'm saying subscribe now if you ain't subscribed yet, man. Just in case you better get updated when I upload a new video. That's a fan. I'm saying so leave that like. That's a fact. I'm saying I'm pretty. I'm sexy. Still pretty and sexy. You know what I'm saying? I see the chess games, man. Come on, man. Looking like Ronnie Coleman, little nephew, or some shit. Stop playing with big over y'all, man. You feel me? Stop playing. Looking like Terry Crews or some shit. What about that blood, man? Leave a like, you know what I'm saying? Leave a comment, a comment down below. How you feel about the video? And do the biggest thing out of all of those, bro. Subscribe, bro. Join the album, y'all. Gang, walk us the gang. That's a fat cold time. But look, when I say off the rip, y'all already know I'm about to go in off the rip. My males and my females. I'll be all game with y'all. Gotta understand. We on one ball, bro. So if the camera die, I'm gonna have to pick it up. You know what I mean, when I have to get done charging, and we gonna come right back. If you need to go to my deck, cause you know what I'm saying. What's today, man? Hold on. Today is goddamn August the thirteenth. This shit. I don't know if y'all can see that shit. But it's August the thirteenth. This shit. Hold on. Right, I'm gonna keep it all the way a hundred, man. You feel me? I'll be all gonna be vulnerable and shit in this video with my mother whole time. But look, bro, I'm not gonna lie again. You feel me? I've been struggling, bro. What am I dead like mentally? spiritually, financially, you know what I'm saying? Physically, I don't really know about physically and shit like that. But, like, every every other aspect of life, what am I mother? I feel like me, personally, I've been struggling, gang. I know a lot of YouTubers come on here, they tell you, preach all this good shit. Oh, bro, just stay motivated. And, man, shut your stupid ass up, man. Shut your goddamn David Goggins wannabe nose ass up. They be over here, bro, trying to act like they the famous, you know what I'm saying? Motivators, speakers, uh, speakers and shit like that all the time. But we all know they be goofing off in their real life as well. You feel me? Dang shit, bro. Just because you got a Lamborghini don't mean shit. But look, bro. Like I said, bro. I've been saying here, bro, struggling, bro. You feel me? And I feel like a lot of it, you know what I'm saying, is self-induced. Because like I tell you, a lot of the time, most of my females, you're great and you're powerful. But me, myself, I haven't been saying here, bro, and having these self-talks with myself. I haven't been as honest with myself as I needed to be. You know what I'm saying? I know a lot of y'all are going through the same thing. A lot of y'all want to see a lot of progress in your life. But you're not really being honest about where you're at in life. You feel me? A lot of us, bro... We want to be millionaires, billionaires, have Ferraris and Paganis and all type of shit, right? And, and Rolex APs and shit. But we struggling, you know what I'm saying, managing a thousand dollars a week. We struggling, you know what I'm saying, figuring out a better way to, you know what I mean, have a business plan. We struggling how to start a YouTube channel. We struggling, bro, basically on the basic necessities of life, you feel me? Or your living situation, you know what I'm saying? It's different things most of my females that we all struggle with, you know what I'm saying? But understand, bro. This is the this is the part of life, bro, that you have to get through. It's the toughest time. It's when you're going through the struggle. It's when everything is in, you know what I mean, all green and shit. What am I mother the whole time, bro? This ain't Greenland. Man. This ain't goddamn Irish potatoes and shit. Shit ain't smooth, bro. Shit ain't sweet. Shit ain't, you know what I mean? It ain't what, it, what you want it to be. But understand, gang, you're going to have to get through this rough patch in life. And this is what I'm going through right now in the of my females. I'm trying to transition myself into really becoming who I need to become, you know what I'm saying? I know I do YouTube. I know I got a lot of different business ventures I got on the side that I start to partake in myself, you know what I'm saying, and I feel like I've been getting pulled in every different direction and shit whole time, you feel me, gangster, it's like life was just on some scorpion, get over here, you feel me, <laughs> I felt like a goddamn a worm on a fishing pole, man, you know how you throw your fishing pole into the ocean, and you reel that motherfucker, like, bro, that's how I've been feeling, I feel like I've been just getting tossed around with a pause, wild pause on that, you know what I mean, like, hit the pause button, bro, on the video, and then unpause it, with a wild pause, but look, you feel me, bro, that's how I've been feeling, gang, Life been just throwing me, you know what I mean, punching me like shit. What am I dead? I'm talking about Javante Davis vibe. Like, they really just left hooking my shit, bro. I'm like, God damn, can I get up, bro? Like, can I get 10 seconds of breather? Can I get a timeout, my nigga? You feel me, whole time? But that's how life works, bro. Life is going to be all of us, gang. 
because it's life. Life is unpredictable. You know what I'm saying? Because I've been, I like I said, I've been spending too much money, man. Like it's one of my biggest things. Like I like, you know, what I mean, living a living a good life. You know what I'm saying? Uh, dabbling into the finer things of life and shit. And I've been going out of my budget and shit like that, spending money on unnecessary things that I don't need. You for me? Not trying to keep up with the Joneses, but just to like, you know. Live that different part of life, you feel me? And I'm, I mean, maybe you could probably say it is kind of keeping up with the Joneses and shit like that. But, you know what I mean? I understand that mentally and I understand that now. So, I'm like, you know what? I got to reel back, you know what I'm saying? I got to take a step back. No, just hard but I got to take a step back, you know what I'm saying? Limit my, you know what I mean, spending on things that are not necessary to where I want to be at in life, you feel me? So, this is why I'm telling you my mothers and my females, bro. This life shit, bro, is like a freaking video game. You go up some steps, some levels, but sometimes you could come back, bro. You could regress, you feel me? Regression is real, man. It's not no joke. It's not no, oh, maybe you might not regret. No, but regression is real. But the reason you start to have regression is because you're not sitting there and analyzing the different things that you're actually doing, you feel me? And I feel like that was my biggest problem. I wasn't analyzing my actions on a daily, day-to-day basis, you feel me? Yeah, I have a set-out list for the day. I'll be like, yeah, create YouTube videos, uh, learn this about the vending machine business, do some sports betting shit. Learn some, another skill or something like that whole time. And then obviously have little uh, my new task throughout the day. And I will only get one of these things done. And then I'll think I had a great day. Or I'll sit there and reward myself at the end of the day with dopamine rushes as, as in basically scrolling on TikTok or watching YouTube videos and things like that. But at the end of the day, that's not going to get me to where I want to be. I have actual real life goals I want to achieve in my life. And the same thing as you, my mother and my females. Y'all have actual things that you want to achieve. So you have to be honest with yourself. What am I the whole time, gangster, bro? You know how on Instagram needs to be them do the to be honestes? Bro, you have to be to be honest, bro. Like, what am I with? You have to be honest, gang. You can't be in here lying to yourself. Get your lie detector test head ass on. Get your liar, liar, pants on fire, nose ass on. You got to be all the way 100, bro. You can't be in here fabricating what you've been doing, gang. Because all the fabrication going to do is going to lead you to the outcome that you don't want. You feel me? But in deep down, you do want the outcome because if you keep doing these same actions, knowing that it's not going to breed a result that you want to have, then you cannot sit here and say, oh, I want to be successful, but you smoking weed, chilling every single day, not working on your goals. That's counterintuitive, you feel me? So you can't sit here and, bro, and not do the things that's necessary to achieve success, but then want success, but then crave success, but then say you're going to be successful. It's not, you know what I mean? It's two different things, bro. So you have to sit here, bro, and align your actions with the goals and things that you want to achieve. So you have to become the person that you want to be. That's the whole point. So me understanding that, understanding that now at this, you know what I mean, part of my life, I truly understand now I have to very, bro, I have to all the way limit the distractions, bro. Cut them shits the fuck out. Gangster, bro. Because life is not waiting for none of us. What I'm up, life ain't going to sit here and put no pause button and let your ass catch up to the... You know what I mean, bro? Life is running fast as shit. I'm talking about Noah Lyles from the goddamn USA Olympics type vibes. I'm talking about, your bro, Shakari Richardson shit. I'm talking about Usain Bolt, my nigga. This shit is running, bro. And if you not keeping up or you not even tagging along with no shit, your ass going to get left in the dust. What am I gonna get your dust storm head ass on? What am I dad, bro? So understand, gang. You have to sit here, bro, and take a step back, bro. The same thing as me. I had to take a step back, gang. Because I haven't even been tapping in spiritually how I used to be. I used to be so much more spiritually, uh, spiritually tapped in. You know what I'm saying? Knowing about what's going on in the world and shit. Yeah, like I still know majority of everything going on. But I haven't felt that connection how I used to have, you feel me? But that's because I've been sitting here and letting myself get consumed by the matrix. I've been letting myself get consumed by this stupid-ass reality that we live in that's conforming us to be these regular-ass individuals, bro. They want all of us to be average, gang. That's what they want for our life, bro. They want you to be a regular 9-to-5 employee, bro. This is what they want. They want you to be SpongeBob from goddamn Krusty Krabs, bro. They want you to be in there flipping patties for the rest of your life. Not having no more bigger aspirations than just being a goddamn W-2 employee, bro. This is what they want for all of us. But all of us, at the end of the day, we all have our dreams, goals, and aspirations. We all have things that we want to achieve in this life. And one of those biggest things for me, and I know a lot of for y'all asses too, is to be financially free. But the only way we can be financially free is we have to be honest with ourselves. We have to sit here and look at all of our expenses, look at all of our income, and literally take out things that you know that you don't need as an expense and try to figure out different ways to better your income so that you can actually have more money coming in on net flow income and net income versus the amount of money that you're giving out. You feel me? Because it's not about how much you make. It's about how much you keep. You know what I mean? A lot of y'all know that, but a lot of y'all don't implement that. And I, that's what I was implementing. I was making all this money. But I was giving it, giving it out the same way, you feel me? So understand my mothers and my females. You have to sit here, bro, and be all the way authentic, bro. 
That's what you gotta understand. This came about to die like a motherfucker. But look, man, you feel me? We gonna come back after this motherfucker. Uh, goddamn. <laughs> I thought I charged this motherfucker though. But look, man, stay tuned. But yeah, man, you feel me? The camera died. I had to recharge it and shit like that. But look, man, like I was saying, no, bro. For me. You got to save more money, bro, and keep more bread for me than you out here giving out with a mother. And that's one of the things that I was struggling with with my dad whole time, bro. You feel me? So that's why I got to, like I said, I had to take a step back. No James Harden, but I had to take a step back. No Kyrie Irving, but I had to take me a little step back, you feel me? And really get back in my bag, you feel me, whole time. Because I know what I'm capable of, you know what I'm saying? Capable of doing, you know what I'm saying? I know what I can achieve in this life and shit like that, you know? So, I can't let the tough times I'm going through right now, you know what I mean? Hold me down with a mother, bro. This shit is like a priest in a church, but this shit is trying to baptize my little dumb ass, you feel me? It's trying to hold me all the way down, my, like gravity or some shit. It's trying to hold me down, gang. But you feel me? Understand, bro. I'm like goddamn Anthony Edwards or some shit. I'm lifting off with a mother, like Tesla X or some shit. I'm lifting, bro. SpaceX vibes, rocket ship, you feel me? All the way in the air type vibes. I'm going up all the way, you feel me? So, understand my mother's my female. Bro, you know what I mean? Struggling, bro, is a part of the game, but the whole point of struggling is that you're not gonna struggle forever, man. So don't sit there and think, oh, yeah, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna be struggling forever and ever and ever. Nah, game. The whole point of it, bro, is for you to go through the struggle, analyze, see the different things that you're doing good, the different things that you're doing bad, and start to take the things that you're doing bad out and replace that with habits and different actions that you can put into your life that will actually have you doing better in your actual life. You feel me? Because a lot of people, bro, don't really sit there and look at their life. They just sit there and keep doing the same shit, bumping their head against the wall, wondering why they bumping their head. You feel me? Whole time, bro. That's why they got a fat ass knot on their shit because they're not sitting here really looking at what the hell they doing. They thinking they doing the best, uh, the best possible actions that they can partake in but in reality when you take a step back and you really look at your whole life and look at the actions that you do on a daily basis you start to realize like damn these aren't the best things i should be doing i shouldn't be laying in the bed for 30 minutes for no reason i shouldn't be taking naps throughout the day i shouldn't be sitting here scrolling on tiktok i shouldn't be sitting here scrolling on instagram worried about a bunch of bullshit i should be sitting here literally bro prioritizing my day scheduling out my time so that i could be the best productive version of myself so that i can achieve the things that i want to achieve in this life you see but you can only see that with them up the whole time. Gangster, bro. You can only see that. What am I dead? If you take off the blinders, what am I up with? It's ain't bird box, man. You can clearly see what you're doing wrong, bro. But y'all last be thinking that y'all last Stevie Wonder. Y'all be acting like y'all don't see nothing y'all do wrong. Oh, man, if I lay down in the bed today for five hours and don't do anything and just watch YouTube, I'm going to get a million dollars tomorrow. Get your stupid ass out the way. Get your, man, get your dumb ass out the way. Bro, understand, gang. That's not how you get a million dollars. That's not how you achieve success. That's not how you get out the position that you're in. The only way you get, in to get out the position that you're in is by doing things that you've never done before. You feel me? So the only way you can do that, bro, is by developing different habits that you already, you know what I'm saying, seen or that you know that you need to implement into your life. Remove the excess bullshit that you already have in your life and put those good habits into your life. And I promise you, you will start to literally see, bro, progress day by day. You feel me? Because this all this life shit is about. You understand? understand it's most of my females, bro. It's a day-by-day -day struggle, you feel me? A lot of us get caught up in the long-term goals. We get caught up in the short-term successes. We get caught up in a lot of different things. And that's what I've been doing a lot, bro. I've been getting caught up in a lot of bullshit because I've been sitting here, bro, focusing on the long-term, short-term, middle-term. Bro, I just need to take it day-by-day, day, getting better 1% every single day. What am I mother, bro? If you get better at 1% every single day, there's 365 days in a year. That is 365% better that you have become. So understand that if you get better 1% every day, guess about the person bro, that you will be at the end of the year. You'll be a totally different person. You won't even look at yourself the same. You'll be like, God damn, who the fuck is this? You feel me all the time? Like, what am my mother, bro? Get your stolen identity, head ass song. What am my mother, bro? You don't mean here scamming this shit. You stealing these identities, bro. You're not even going to be you no more. None of your family members going to really recognize your ass. What am I the whole time, gangster, bro? No face, no case. Like, you going to really be, you know what I'm saying? A whole different person. Because, you feel me? You sitting here, bro, and you transformed your life. No Optimus Prime, but you transformed your life. You changed to the individual that you wanted to become. And it all stems from you taking a step back. No Paul Pierce on the Celtics, but you took a step back and really looked at everything. You started to see everything clearly. What am I over? Like, I can see clearly now the rain is gone. Like, I can clearly see now, bro, what I was doing wrong. You feel me? I was in here bullshitting. I was in here not scheduling my days. I was in here not sticking to my tasks. I was in here not being, you know what I'm saying? accountable for the actions that I was doing on a daily basis. And this is the reason why, bro, whole time I put myself in a position that's fucked up. 
You feel me? So a lot of y'all been doing the same exact things. And I'm here to tell you, you can change your outcome. You can change your situation. And on top of that, you need to think in the mentality of, okay, cool. I did all these fucked up ass things. I messed myself up. I put myself in a bad position. But guess what? I'm my own savior. What am my mother? Nobody going to come from the sky. No goddamn superhero from goddamn Fantastic Four from the come off the TV screen and come save your life, gang. What am my mother the whole time? This ain't no anime. What am I dead? Understand this, bro. This is real life, bro. So you have to sit here and realize you're your own savior. You're the only person who's going to change your life. You're the only person who gives a fuck about your life. Your family, they care about you. Your friends, they care about you. Your girlfriend, your wife, whoever. People care about you, but they don't give a fuck enough to change your entire life. The only person who cares that much is you. Not the A, E, C, D, E, F, G. Not, not, no letter in the fucking alphabet. Only you care about you, gang. So understand this, bro. So, nobody's going to come hand you a bad bitch. Nobody's going to come hand you a million dollars. Nobody's going to come hand you a Corvette C8. Nobody's going to come hand you none of this shit. So, you have to sit here, bro, and realize you're the only person that's going to save your damn life. So, save yourself, gang. Why are you going to see yourself drowning in the ocean and you know you have a life jacket, but you're not putting this shit on? Because you're sitting here thinking, oh, well, one day somebody's going to come save me from this shit. Nobody's coming, bro. What am I dad? You stranded out here, bro. Nobody coming from nowhere. What am I mother? So get that shit out your brain, you feel me? Understand that, Jimmy Neutron. You think you know everything. You don't know shit. You think you know everything. Oh, yeah, bro. The government one day gonna come save me, man. The Matrix. Oh, yeah, them people. Yeah, they gonna come save me one day. Oh, celebrities? LeBron James. Oh, he's gonna give me a million dollars one day if I keep commenting on his Instagram when he give do the giveaways and shit. Get your dumb ass out the way. He not saving nobody, bro. He's saving himself and his family and his kids, bro. So understand that, game. You have to be the savior for your family. And basically, you have to be the savior for your own damn life, my mother and my female. So understand that, bro. So I've been struggling, man, you feel me, gangs the whole time. We're not going to be struggling forever, though, you feel me? I'm taking it day by day, step by step. You know what I'm saying? Becoming a better version of myself, removing the negative bullshit I was doing, the negative food that I was eating and shit like that. I was eating a lot of junk food and shit like You feel me? Bro, it's a whole circle, bro. Everything that, you know what I mean, compounds to your life from the different things that you do on a daily basis. So that's why I tell you, my mothers and my females, you need to take a step back and really analyze everything. Because everything plays a hand into the next thing, you feel me? So think about this shit, you know what I'm saying? I've been struggling, but we're going to get back to it, man. With a moment of a little, man, you know what I'm saying? Do all these days, man. You're going to be good. You're going to be safe. You're going to just water some hoop. Big up, y'all. Look, man, you know I'm saying? Like the video, like this, a fan, you know I'm saying? Subscribe and I'm from Instagram, you man. Turn on case you better get updated when I upload a new video. So, fan, I'm saying, follow me on Instagram at LBR Dez. I'm your DEZ from my other Instagram at LBR Dez. YouTube for me, both in the description box and the comments down below. I need to be just a fan, I'm saying, farm me that tick time, and that's just a fan, I'm saying, farm me that tick time, and that's just a fan, I'm saying. You watch the video all the way through, mess much a fan, me join up your gang, look at this, the gang way. But look, man, I'm making a video, I'm gonna do that, but it's today, man, you already know what I'm about to say. <sighs> I was struggling, man, you feel me, money wise, spiritually wise, feel me, all type of shit, gang. But listen, I still be getting pretty and sexy. The lady still been loving Big LVR, you know what I'm saying? I'm just about to go hit the gym after this and shit like that, you feel me? I might make one more video, but not that I'm going to hit the gym, you know what I'm saying? Ladies know what's going on, man. I've been in a while. I never struggled with the why, man. That shit, that's like my superpower. Like, you know how you got blessed to be ugly in life, you feel me? I know I got blessed to be the most sexiest in alive, you feel me? The most prettiest in alive. And on top of that, God bless me with the superpowers, bro. I basically created going crazy. I'm really him, like, yo, bro, I'm really that. Yo, bro, what am I dead? Ask your girlfriend, bro. Respectfully, but look, maybe I'm, I'm not even playing though. But look, you know what I mean? Whole time, bro. But look, man, get you some WAP, man. I know you're struggling, but WAP gonna definitely help you out because you know what I mean? You're gonna be in there beating the basketball in the tracks, and then you're gonna, oh, and then you're gonna be like, damn, I'm still struggling. But look, at least you got some WAP. Why you struggling? You feel me? Like, you know what I'm saying? You ain't down and out yet. You put them over. But look, man, <laughs> get you some WAP. I'm out to the bit. Um, bro.